All right, so here's the latest uh, video on the house. So I've gone through here this weekend, gotten all the uh, flooring, most of it that is, installed. Uh, still got a few spots here to uh, finish up. So I've got, uh, as you can see, some of this. So the, the wood on the wall here, what I was talking about in my uh, Facebook post last night, that wood right there is... Uh, OSB and the fire inspector came by and told me that basically this was a fire hazard so he said what I needed to do was put flame retardant on it which is what I did my wife helped me um, get that done so we you actually used almost two gallons of flame retardant and went around the entire house and soaked these walls with it so we don't ever have to worry about this igniting really easy so here's our uh, heater right here so that's going to be the main house heater um, for right now, I've just been using that to heat in here, and uh, that's kept it uh, nice 68 degrees in here. But this was going to be the primary one. We're getting ready to get a 500-gallon uh, propane tank that's going to connect to that. And as you can see, there's the little wall that I, I built around it for that to sit on there. And uh, so here's some of the other pictures here in the back. This is where the main bedroom is going to be. You can see that little uh, hole there in the wall. That's where the uh, air vent's going to be that's going to cool the place here. So basically, there'll be uh, that one. And there's, you see there's one over there. On that side, that'll be the air intake. And then this will be the uh, part that the air will come out. And uh, it'll uh, blow all the way down the length of the home. So some of y'all asked me how, what I was do over here to sleep well there there's the bed actually i sleep on over here and it's actually pretty darn comfortable uh, and that's just a temporary blow-up bed that i'm using so right now we've got uh one of the outlets here so this is uh this is one of the, the outlets i use i need to get it installed in the wall i was going to this weekend but i really got into a lot of different um issues getting the other done but as you can see, that's a uh, 12 volt with uh, two USB connectors and hooked right into the main power room. So that basically powers my other uh, equipment. So I got like, uh, for instance, on it, uh, I got a thermostat in here and then I've got my DeWalt um, uh, sound system that it hooks to. So basically, that, that's where the house is right now. and. Uh, and I'm getting ready to actually head home. I got a little bit more. As you can see, I still got some more to finish up here to, to get the wood done. Um, right there's a, a good picture of it. So I got, got most of the house done. So there's a, a good view of it right down there. And as you can see how the air will, in the summertime, the air will blow right through that pipe all the way down the length of the house to keep it cool. So, and then the heat is right in the center. And one of the reasons I ended up going with propane heat instead of the uh, wood or the wood pellet was the fact that I couldn't find a wood stove or a uh, wood pellet stove that was small enough that it wouldn't literally just roast us out of this house. Well, this propane heater right here is a 30,000 BTU, which is more than enough for the inside the house. And we can regulate, uh, we can regulate how much power or uh, uh, propane it uses. So that was one of the big reasons I decided to go with this instead of uh, a wood pellet or wood stove because I just didn't want to have to worry about that. And then plus this was a whole lot cheaper too to go with. So that's where the house is right now and uh, next weekend I'm getting ready to go buy. And I'm really lucky on this. I'm getting ready to go buy my uh, cedar boards. They're, uh, th those boards right there, all the way to the ceiling there, are eight feet high. Well, this guy over in Mount Juliet is selling uh, cedar uh, boards that are three-eighths inch thick by five inches wide by eight feet long. And I'm going to put them vertical up the walls uh, here. And that's going to actually cover over all this OSB solar boarding and uh, become actually my main walls. And he's selling them to me for $2 a board. I can't beat that. And plus, it'll give the nice cedar smell inside the house. So that's where I am. So next weekend, I'm going to be back and put my electrical outlets in, put my, um, go ahead and put them in the wall. And uh, I think put my switches. And I think then I'm ready to start actually putting my uh, boards up all the way through the house and actually getting it to look more like a house inside. 
So that's it. I'm actually done. I'm not going to do anything more in the house this weekend. Um, it's been a three-day weekend. I'm kind of tired, so I'm going on home. I'm going to finish up the last of the flooring and start doing the walls next weekend. Later.